Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can add a toggle button to your Excel ribbon. And so in a previous video I went over how to, how to just add a button to the ribbon, but this time I'm going to go a step further and now add a toggle effect to that button so it'll have, so it'll show that it's sunken when it's pressed and clicking it will revert it back to its original state. So if you don't have it already, I'd suggest doing a Google search for the custom UI editor from Microsoft Office and uh, downloading it. It's an easy tool to, to make adjustments to the ribbon. And so what I'm gonna do is just open up a file. I've got a, a toggle button file in here. And you can insert default code into this. There's a, you know a sample XML for you know a custom tab that you can just put in here and that's what I suggested um, in the past as far as just creating a, uh, a simple a simple button to add to your um, to your ribbon and to convert this into a toggle button it might seem a little silly but all I really need to do is change where it says um, button ID I'm going to change it to toggle button ID and a capital capital B for button. So it can still have the same ID name as custom button or whatever you want to call it. You know, it's got, it's still got a label, it's still got an image, and it's still got a, a, a size and an on action attribute. So it still has many of those same things that a, a normal button would have when you're adding it uh, through this interface. So there's really nothing special at this point, but if I go back, go into this uh, button here for the for generating the callbacks, there is one important distinction because now there is another variable. It's called pressed, so that tells me if this button is pressed or not, and that's the that's the key to making this toggle toggle button work. So I'm going to copy this, and I'm going to save and close this file and now I'm going to open it up in in Excel okay so I'm just going to go to file and open my my toggle button in here in this file I've already got the custom tab set up through the through the custom UI editor and I've got my toggle button here but right now it's not gonna do anything when I click on it because I have not assigned any code to it. So that's the first thing I need to do. So I'm gonna go to the developer tab, go into Visual Basic, and I'm gonna insert a module. And what I'm gonna do here is copy and paste the code that I generated from the custom UI editor. And the key variable that I'm gonna use is this pressed variable. So I'm gonna say if pressed is equal to true, then do something uh, else, do something else, and then end it. And in this case, what I'm gonna do is just something really simple. I'm just gonna apply uh, a fill effect to, to my worksheet. So it's gonna look like I'm toggling between turning the grid lines on and off. So if it's pressed, I'm gonna say cells.interior.pattern is gonna be equal to XL solid. So it's gonna look solid. And then if it's unchecked, cells interior pattern equals XL none. So when I when I click uh, the button, when it has that sunken effect, then it's gonna be a solid fill. So it's gonna look like there are no grid lines. If I, if I press it again and it goes back to its default state then it's going to look as if there is um the, the fill effect is gone and it just looks like there's there's grid lines back on it okay so i'm going to minimize this and now test it out so i'm going to custom tab now so if i press this this should apply that fill effect so it effectively looks like it's gotten rid of the grid lines if i cl click it again it's going to get rid of that sunken effect and the grid lines are are back because now there's no there's no fill effect. So obviously you could do a lot more complex things than that. You could do message boxes and run any sort of macros that you want when the button is clicked. The key thing to 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 making it work is 
utilizing that that pressed variable so that Excel knows okay when it's pressed when the button is pressed and it has that sunken effect as such then it's going to take a certain action and if I click it again and it doesn't no, and it no longer has that sunken effect it's going to take on another action so it's a quick and easy way of how to create a, a toggle button and you know just to make your your ribbon a bit more uh, different than just having just a, a plain old button and this way by having that toggle effect in there you can sort of make it uh, easily visible to a user that hey they can they can jump from one status to another by uh, by clicking this so hope you found that video useful and uh, thanks for watching